Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and I was just kind of flying through this thing here. There's actually a lot of costumes. Um, looks like, you know, this is just the campaign stuff. According to this, we are already three, six, nine. We are pretty much little less than... We're one third through the game! But then there's these. I don't know what these two... Is this just like level two I could find these maybe? There's also the balloons. So I gotta pay the balloons to find this. Is this, is this, <laughs> this from, the, from the movie? At the end, where he gets a little magic hat. All right. Anyways, um, I'm just taking a little peek around here. I was trying to see like how to unlock costumes. Like, do I just buy them? But so far, no. But yeah, these jellies gotta do something, right? Oh, she's just gonna ask for like, give me a thousand jelly for your nice costume. Is that what what that's gonna be? Like? No! I made a terrible mistake. I'm not used to gliding. I keep forgetting I can glide. Like, I, like I know it's in my brain that I can glide. Oh, by the way, what's going on? Everybody? Did I already say all that? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> My memory sucks, man. <laughs> I can sneak by Mrs. Puff's fortress. No, no, I gotta go over here. Okay, I've tangented like eight times already, but anyways, yes, welcome to the episode. We're just gonna start fresh since I, there's none of those words I, I said at the beginning. Really, they, they don't need to be finished. It's fine. Those thoughts could stay. I'm so sorry, Mr. Seahorse. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go in this house. We can't go in the house. I thought I thought we were supposed to go in the house and Mrs. Puff would be there. Uh, but I guess not. This is just the levels continue on. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess this was that wasn't a great spot to start, stop last episode, was it? Because there's just nothing. He's dabbing now? Oh, no. He's dabbing now. I hate tiggies. I'll let you live. It's because you have to suffer knowing you're now in this world alone. Uh, ooh, I can go up here. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Huh? Is there, am I going to be rewarded for coming up here? Am I going to find a note, a giant note? Is it going to say something else? Wait, can I not get up here? Am I going to get some kind of super jump eventually? There's totes my goat something up there. Wait, oh shit! Oh, I didn't know it went like that. All right. That's a strange way for that to work, but okay, I guess I gotta wait now. <laughs> Help! I've made a mistake! Hello? Thank you. Oh, a little bad depth perception there. I wonder if I should have went on that bouncy pad. This isn't the way forward, surely. Oh, the balloon! Wow, this is giving me a flashback to a game called um, The Emperor's New Group. Yeah, like the movie. That looks like a uh, like a little key thing you get in there. Um, well, interesting. This feels a little like open. Like there's, I feel like there's a lot of ways to go here, so that's kind of nice. It's like a map. Can I see a map? Oh, I can teleport around. I guess. I'm guessing that's what that is. One out of eleven. Oh, so the doubloons are the socks. Where are the where are Patrick's notes then? Um, over here, I guess? Yes. Well, maybe that giant flat spot, but... Little stacked rocks. Look at them stacked rocks. Who did that? Why did they do that? Hmm, mysteries. I don't know if I want to go... Oh, God! <laughs> I, can't, I can't get over the little Breath of the Wild gliding mechanic. That's so funny. It even has, like, the, the same color for the stamina bar. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, we're following Mr. Pufferson's. With, a, with an S at the end of the mister, of course. Oh, the horsey! Oh, double venture. Yeah, you know, people talk about how, like, Spongebob and friends sound very different. What is literally unplayable. You see that? This helps, um, how, like, Patrick and Spongebob and all the gang, they're all very different characters than what they once were in the early seasons. And like, I haven't really watched, so I haven't been able to really see if I agree with that or not. But yeah, playing this right now, this is a lot of fun, by the way. Destroying this fence, actually, like, that's so much fun. I enjoy that a lot. They they really do just kind of feel like different characters now. Which is unfortunate, you know, but, you know, also, maybe I'm just old boomer and um, it's fine for things to change. Okay, I think we gotta grab a horsey. Yeah, I gotta follow Mrs. Puff and the little flower the gold thing is right here. Oh, it's not right here. It's beyond the horse. Lucky, what's your name? Oh, I can't even write him. It probably happened to him. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm abusive. Hey! Rangers, you came here by foot? 
That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might. <laughs> Wait, you don't name your balloons or something? He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or, or Jeremy. Claws. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding <gasps> license. SpongeBob has to get his driving lessons. My very own license. Oh my god. Whenever you're ready. This is gonna be impossible. Meet me by the seahorse. Alright, I'm gonna play this as if I was really SpongeBob. All the way to Manta Fay. All right. Here goes SpongeBob getting his license in an alternate dimension. Dimension. Surely this will go well, right? Surely. Surely. Patrick, you're in the sky, buddy. Wow. What's that? Is that a giant tooth? Is that a giant tooth? Hello, Puff. Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so, any chance we can skip this part? Yeah, sure, fine. Just give him the license. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Sense, Bob. <laughs> a little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready? Set? Go! Ah! It, wait, I literally can't crash it. It won't let me crash. How? Wait, see? How does seahorse boost? <laughs> I got a seahorse boost. Ah! Destroy! Oh, oh, the tumbleweed! For Whoa! This is pop. Ah! No! Oh, I missed all the tiki's. Yeah, frick. Oh, that hurt actually. Oh, did that hurt? No, I, I, I just want to smash into things. Keep on smashing. Whoa, wait, she wants me to be bad. Yay! These controls do feel- OH SHIT! <laughs> oh, I HATE THESE LITTLE PIG MEN! Wait, she's enjoying this. What the hell, Puff? Aren't you worried I'm getting hurt myself? Why does her art look so weird there? Like, she looks like she's, she's like in high definition. Real, mean stop. Yeah. Oh god. Day 37. I'm still stuck under the hay. I think I'm starting to understand the words they are speaking. Ah! <laughs> oh, SpongeBob, you silly little goober, you. Uh, uh, was there more to do over there? Probably. What is that? Is that a broken water graphic, or is that some kind of like ice? What, what the? What, is, what am I looking at over there? Smoke? Fire? Oh dear. How'd you get over here? You have six points. <laughs> Out of seven. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh no, that's not necessary. No. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. Here's your license. Thanks. Parker. Perfect score. What have you done, SpongeBob? What have you done? Hey, hold your horses! What have you done? This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals, with the exception of. Uh, this doesn't say anything about. Oh, <laughs> SpongeBob. Well, once both mobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. I'm sure that- Whoa! Is that a giant jump pad or is that just me? Well, it is a giant jump pad. I keep thinking Sponge- or Patrick is like a character about trying to talk to me. So why is this so large? <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go up! No, yet yeah, you aren't. Santa Fe! <gasps> King, King Jellyfish? Is that what that is? This kind of looks a little broken. Howdy. We stock three things. Driftwood, spackle. Oh, so you're a sandwich shop. Something ain't right with you. True. I'm trying to... Oh. I'm sorry. I'm extremely... I'm in a very aggressive sponge. 
I don't mean it by I don't mean nothing by it. I just can't stop hitting people. And that's that and you should feel bad about that. Um Grab the underwear please. I feel very naked without my undie. Huh? They do float, but why? If I Why do they float? I mean, I guess we are underwater, and they are made out of wood, so I guess that does make sense if I really scrounge my mind up a bit. Wait, what am I doing? I should go up that thing. <gasps> ah, the bloom! No! I'm a failure! Wait, who, who, who summoned me? I saw my name in those subtitles. Get me up here! Yeah, there we go. There we go. Where, where are we standing on top of right now? Manta Fey in. Uh huh. What's over there? Does it move? Gnomes. But it. Can I. Oh, it looks like I could jump up there. I can make it! I can make it! I can't make it! Where is this creature? Oh, <laughs> I thought that was his face on the other side. I thought I just had really swirly eyeballs. Uh, <laughs> all right, get up here, SpongeBob. Get up here, SpongeBob. Yeah. A little dabble, do ya? Oh, I don't. What is he saying with that? A little dabble, do ya? Why is that jelly yellow? It looks like piss. It's it's Pelly. Barely. <gasps> Patrick, you know you turned to a steel structure! No! No! Oh, there's probably another one on the at the jail. Eh. Mm. Woo! Okay, okay. A little tough. Aha! Uh -huh. My my deduction skills are astounding. <gasps> what the Why is the sad music play when I do you hearing that? I can't really have the volume too loud, otherwise it'll pick up on the mic and ruin everything. But I hear the doo, doo. that sound. Is that a good impression? I don't think so. Um, hopefully it's actually the sound, so you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, that that's like that place when something sad's happening. No, what is that? Just like Breath of the Wilds. Why does he keep seeing shiny things? What do I? Oh. Uh, oh, I gotta do it fast. See, pickle. Am I doing anything? Do oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, that should have been very obvious. It was very clearly telling me how to jump. Okay, um. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I mean, at least, you know, it's a learning experience. You know, you're not stupid for not knowing something, okay? You're only stupid if you learn something and then you forget it. Um, so, I, I can still make... Okay, a anyways, this is going great. How about sign switching? Isn't that crazy? Haha, <laughs> distractions. Good. Yeah! I did it! I am amazing! A new tier! Wait a minute. Oh! Pearl says I look totally coral. Boy Scouts. Um, honestly, you could buy the other one at two. That's silly. That should definitely be. That should be a fourteen doubloon um, ability. Well, I do plan on one hundred percent in this. <sighs> We're becoming cuddly, Bob. Why won't let me buy it? Oh, I have to hit Y. Let's go! I'm Cuddly Bob! Yeah, those little springs in my head. Ring, ring, ring. Wow, this is amazing. I love it. I can't wait to wear this for 10 minutes and then switch in when I unlock something new. Actually, it did take was it did take a while to get those doubloons, so maybe it'll maybe it won't happen for a little while yet. And here we go, our third doubloon! One more in 20 seconds, and I got this. Ow! Holy shrimp. <laughs> I like this guy. I like his gross hair. Imagine like you catch a fish and has a bunch of hair on it. Isn't that a nasty thought? Well, that's that man right there. Jeff might be at the saloon if you're still looking for them. 
Okay. I can get to see what's going on there. <gasps> Sandy? Look, it's Sandy. I mean, it's the show. I thought you'd get her own level. Are all the characters we really, you read? Really, all these characters reused in every level, I wonder? Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole. The Red Baron. Hey, if you can take me. No worry, that's Witcher 3. What was his name again? Better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sits straight. We're going to have ourselves a nice little cactus soda. Red-handed bandit. That's it. Sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! No! The jelly bandits! I will destroy you all with my mighty bubble wands. Oh, it's like the, uh... It's like the Battle Royale things in uh, the movie game. It is cool. I almost managed the button. Easy game. Wait, that actually was it. I, okay, <laughs> that was a little easy. Grab your straw. Huh? What a mash. Easy. I got this. I will absolutely destroy you. I'm so. What the hell, Sand? How is she ahead of me? Ah! I fucked up. I was mashing the button for some reason because I'm like, oh, I'm still used to chugging it. Okay, I can still beat her. I'm drunk now. Cactus juice. Any chance you can go up to Captain Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. Don't you worry, My crab sir. case. Deputy SpongeBob. And balloon deputy Patrick are on the case. Patrick, like SpongeBob, because tells is different. Sandy sounds similar. Like she's saying things I could imagine her saying. Spongebob is like that too, where I, I can tell he's different, but he's still like, he still feels like Spongebob. Patrick feels so different. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> she deserved it. I'm scared. I thought this was a child. It's just a short fish woman. I think. Made every day feel sunny till an outlaw came a riding through to make a little money. That vile, twisted, tight fisted, red handed bandit. He robbed us of our juice and left our barrels dry. That vile, twisted, tight fisted, money grabbing, land loving, red hand bandit. <laughs> this red handed bandit sounds like <laughs> that was cute. I like that. Don't worry, lady. We'll find more cactus juice and bring it back. Oh, I thoroughly bandit. enjoyed that. Nothing Hello? than jelly bandits, except maybe vampires and public speaking. Public speaking is one of those fears. I have no fear of public speaking. I ain't afraid Walking of me. Bandits. I'm just a conformist. I do fear many other things, though. Like Patrick in this game. These jelly thugs got no backbone. Tr well, why weren't you helping me then? Don't let them hurt me. I'm an ugly crier. <laughs> Cactus eye. I already made that joke earlier, Patrick. Green, juicy, and thorny. Like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. I wasn't done. I just walked close to the door. Kind of just like ask me, would you like to leave? Why? This should just be a bundle leave. Why does it keep automatically <laughs> pushing me forward? <gasps> That was such a good spot to end, man. We go a bit longer. What are you doing? What are you doing? Bubble throw. I already did this. Why is it giving me tutorials for things that's already taught me? You fool. You're nothing to me. 
Oh, shrimp. You think you have any chance against me? You're wrong. And you're dead now. A familiar looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. <laughs> Howdy, sir. I'm hey, who's that? Square Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry. Is that Mr. Crab's cousin? But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%. I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Wait a minute. That sounds like too good of a deal for Mr. Krabs. This can't be him. Since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. No, Patrick, you're a balloon now. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70%? There we go. That's my. That's better. That, there we go. That's the Mr. Krabs we all know and love. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them cactine hills. And don't you scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find 90. the cucumbers. All right, at least you didn't go to 99. Okay, well, we made it to um, Manta Fe. <laughs> what a name. What are these? These, like, these, these look like they like, explode them in the jelly or something, no? I, I definitely cannot, but it feels like I should be able to do that. Um, anyways, yeah, I guess I'll be back with some more of this game. Thanks for... I killed the posters! No! Um, I can't go inside these other ones, huh? It doesn't look like it. They look very empty and deep and dark inside. Oh, um, SpongeBob? Yeah, Patrick? Do you feel like we're being... watched? Because of these guys? They're not watching me. They're just having some good old fun. Uh, yeah, I will be back. Wait, why is this glowing and like I haven't done it? Do you speak, sir? He doesn't explain the game to me. Tisk tisk. I will be back tomorrow for some more SpongeBob SquarePants. The co uh, dude, I keep I should not. What is this game called again? The Cosmic Jelly. Sh sh the Cosmic Shake. I wasn't even close! I thought something had something to do with the jelly. No, okay, wow. Uh, well, one day I'll remember um, what this game is actually called, and it'll be a great day. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like and stuff. Bye!